Hi YouTube, my name is Jasmine, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Hi friends, hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Today I have a fun video. It is my anticipated releases for the first quarter of the year. So these are going to be all the books that are coming out between January and March that I'm anticipating. Also, this video is going up late, so a couple of these are already out, but most of them are not, so that's cool. Either way, I have a list of 13, it's a really random number, but these are the ones that I'm especially excited for. And I'm just happy to be sitting down and filming a video and getting up content at a normal pace. So yeah, let's just get straight into the video. Okay, so the first book actually comes out today as I'm speaking. So I'm not actually too late, look at me. It comes out today, yesterday for you, because this is going up tomorrow. Anyway, the first book is Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. I am so excited to read this book. I don't know if you saw my last video. Those were my top 10 favorites from 2021 and I did have a Colleen Hoover book on there and it was my first ever Colleen Hoover book so I'm really excited to read really anything that she releases at this point. I don't quite know what Reminders of Him is about but I have like an overall thing in mind that I think it's about. So I'm gonna give a brief synopsis. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But keep in mind, even if it's not the most exciting synopsis in my opinion, I just wanna read everything by Colleen Hoover because A, I really enjoyed the last book that I read by her and B, I already know it's about to be way hyped on TikTok, well, book talk, and I wanna be in the loop, so yeah. Anyway, from my knowledge, Reminders of Him follows a mom who actually just got released from prison and she comes back trying to make amends with the people in her life, particularly her daughter. Pretty much everyone from her past is shutting her out and not really letting her back into their lives. And so the mom ends up forming a connection with someone who knows her daughter. I don't know what the daughter and the person's relationship is, but he somehow knows her daughter and the mom starts connecting with him, but it can potentially jeopardize the daughter's relationship with both people if she finds out. So that's the premise of this. Like I said, I don't exactly know what it's about. That's like the overall thing that I have in my brain as to what it's about. So I'm sorry if that doesn't sound super exciting, but either way, like I said, I'm excited and I want to stay ahead of the book talk viral things. So there we go. Okay, now we have a slew of books that come out on February 1st. So let's just, let's get into those. There's a few. Okay, so the first one, I'm already so excited just talking about it. It's This Woven Kingdom by Tahada Mafi. So I don't know if you're new to my channel, if you've seen me before, but like back in my OG days, Shatter Me was my brand, okay? I'm still obsessed with the series. I may or may not have met Tata Mafi in November and I may or may not have literally freaked out. Back in November when I met Tata Mafi, I didn't even know she was releasing a new book. And then I saw someone in line with an arc of it and I was like, what? New book? Okay. And then I went to a panel and Tata Mafi was talking about the new book and I am so excited. So, here we are, another autobi author. Of course, I'm really anticipating it. Essentially, this is Tahanamafi's debut in the fantasy genre, and I'm very excited for this. Now that I'm thinking about it, she said it's her first fantasy book, but she wrote furthermore, and I think that's fantasy. I guess it's her first YA fantasy, because furthermore was middle grade. Anyway, so this book is drawing from Persian mythology, which I'm very excited for. I don't think I've ever read Persian mythology, let alone something inspired by it. So I'm really excited for this. And essentially we have this one main character. She is essentially a servant. However, she is the descendant of royalty and is literally the heir of the throne. And then we have the prince as the other main character and his dad's about to, you know, take the can. So. Who's gonna take the throne next? I don't know. I don't know if there's gonna be some conflict between the heir and the prince. I don't know anything that's about to happen, but like I said, I'm very excited because it's Tahara, and I'm also very excited because it's Persian mythology, and I'm also very excited because the premise does sound great, so. This Woven Kingdom. The next book coming out on February 1st that I'm talking about is These Deadly Games. This book is written by Diana Urban. I've never actually read a book of theirs, but I'm very excited because I just need to read the synopsis. Like, I can't summarize it. I need to read a little excerpt from Goodreads because it sounds so good. It literally starts off with, let's play a game. You have 24 hours to win. If you break the rules, she dies. If you call the police, she dies. If you tell your parents or anyone else, she dies. 
Are you ready? That's the little tagline from the back of the book and I think that sounds amazing. And so essentially this game is a kidnapper trying to blackmail the main character and it's really horrible. So the main character's name is Crystal and the kidnapper has her sister. The kidnapper is giving these demands that essentially hurts everyone else in her life. It could be like a minor thing, but it also could be very serious. Like she could have to physically hurt or endanger her friends or other people in her life to save her sister. And it's like, uh oh, you gotta hurt these people to save your sister. And it's like, either way, you're hurting someone. And she essentially has to like play this kidnapper's game. And I don't know if she's going to like go along with it. I'm sure she will, at least initially. This book was apparently written by the author of All Your Twisted Secrets. And I know that was very popular actually. So I'm even more intrigued now, now that I know the author. I haven't read All Your Twisted Secrets, but I know it was popular. So I know that this book is probably also gonna be a little hyped and hopefully it's for a good reason, so. Very excited for this one. Next up, also February 1st, we have The New Girl. This book, as you know me, it's a dark academia mystery novel. Are we surprised? No, we're not. So this book follows a new girl, as the title suggests, and she goes to this elite institution. And when she goes there, I'm pretty sure she either sees someone get like physically harmed or in a similar fashion, kidnapped and no one else is like acting like this is a big deal. Like obviously someone just got seriously hurt or taken um, and no one, no, no one's paying any mind. They're like, whatever. And so the main character is obviously like, what's going on here? And she's also, I think, getting blackmailed within her school. Let's look up the synopsis. Okay, I found the synopsis, I was a little wrong. It says, on her first day, she witnesses a girl being forcefully carried away by campus security. As she uncovers the secret of Draycott, which is her school, complete with a corrupt teacher, a golden boy who isn't what he seems, and a blackmailer determined to get her thrown out. I said there was blackmail, did I not? She's not sure if she can trust anyone, especially when the threats against her take a deadly turn. So that's the little premise for that one. It sounds so good to me. I love dark academia books. I love university settings, especially prestigious university settings. I don't know why, but the craziest stuff just goes on there. I'm already very invested and I don't even own the book so there we go. Okay so the last February 1st book release is Cameron Battle and the Hidden Kingdoms. I don't quite know what this one's about either however it is a middle grade I know that and we follow the main character Cameron Battle and he gets this book that I believe unlocks some sort of ancestral magical history and that's pretty much all I know of the book but it has magic it's a middle grade, black main character. I love it all. I haven't read a middle grade in a long, long time, so I wanna get back into that. Also, I love middle grade fantasies to be specific. And yeah, it just seems like everything I could ever want. It's just, it sounds great, so. There we go. Okay, so this next book comes out on February the 8th and it is Cherish Vera. So this book, I have been saying this for all of these, but they all sound so amazing. This book was pitched as Get Out meets My Sister the Serial Killer. Enough said. There we go. Moving on. No, anyway, that is basically the premise. It, it mostly sounds like Get Out from the synopsis. So the main character is one of two black girls in their country club. She's the only one with black parents. So the synopsis describes her as being calculating and a little devious, and she apparently infiltrates her way into the life of her friend. And I'm assuming she like uncovers some sketchy things. Just by the get out comparison, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm already interested. Okay, skipping down to February 22nd, we have The Paris Apartment. This book was written by Lucy Foley, who actually wrote The Guest List. I never actually finished The Guest List. However, the bit that I did read, I did thoroughly enjoy, so I have no doubt that I will enjoy the writing. And the premise of this one sounds great, so I'm here for it. So this one follows the main character, Jess. And Jess ends up running away from her life and moving in with her brother in Paris. And apparently, while Jess is there, her brother is missing and her brother has been missing for a while. So she starts to question things. She meets a bunch of really weird people and alarm bells start going off in her head. She's like, where's my brother? What is happening? Who is my brother? Like that's another question. And I've noticed that Lucy Foley does this thing where she has like specific like typecasted people in her books and that just sounds great in and of itself. The synopsis literally says, the socialite, the nice guy, the alcoholic, the girl on the verge, the concierge, Everyone's a neighbor, everyone's a suspect, and everyone knows something they're not telling. 
and I want to figure out what they're not telling and what the heck happened to Ben, who is Jess's brother. So that's the synopsis of that book. Already sounds great. I love a good mystery. I love a good thriller. I'm just here to see what happens. And also it's set in Paris. What's there not to love? Okay, so next up is The Book of Living Secrets by Madeline Rue. So this book already sounds great. Just by the little bit that I know, I had to stop the synopsis because I felt like it could get spoilery. But anyway, as much as I read is that there's two girls who go into this book that they adore and it ends up being a dark and twisty version of that world. It literally says two girls try transport themselves into the world of their favorite book only to encounter the sinister alternate reality that awaits them. There we go. I love it when characters go inside books. I just love that. I think I've only read that in one other book but I've seen it or like at least heard about it in TV shows and movies. And I love it when people are transported into different worlds, particularly by a book. And the fact that it's like an alternate reality and like a super twisted version of a favorite book, that's an utter nightmare. Okay, my favorite book is a little dark and twisty. So let's just say if I were to go into the land of stories and I was surrounded by monsters all trying to kill me and all of my favorite fairy tale characters are like evil, I'd feel some type of way. I'd be scared. So that's all I really need to know about this book. It sounds great. I'm really excited. If you want to check it out, it comes out on March the 1st. Also coming out on March 1st is Gallons by V.E. Schwab. I'm super excited for this book because, you know, V.E. Schwab, enough said. I loved The Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. I loved The Vicious by V.E. Schwab. I really enjoyed I Can't Say Love, but I did really enjoy A Darker Shade of Magic. V.E. Schwab, yet another auto by author at this point. This book follows another main character who goes to visit someone. I know the main character, I'm pretty sure she was raised in boarding schools or somewhere not with her family. And then she doesn't have any contact with her mother, but she ends up getting a letter to stay with some other family members. And so the place that she's going to stay at is called Gallant. And so when she gets to Gallant, they weren't expecting her. They're like, what you doing here, sister? So where did that letter come? I don't know. But the person goes into Gallant and there's a lot of other sinister, weird, sketchy things going on in the house. But aside from that, she unlocks this other portal that takes her to, let's say together, <laughs> An alternate reality. Yet another one. Um, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's a door or a wall, but girl gets through and it's a dark and twisted version of Gallant. I guess we have a theme going with this video anyway. Um, once again, that sounds terrifying, but also super exciting. I can't wait to see how this unfolds. It sounds so like meta, but I love it and I'm here for it. So there we go. Gallant, V.E. Schwab. Next up, also March 1st, is The Rumor Game. This one was co-written by two authors, one of whom is Danielle Clayton, and I read The Bells by Danielle Clayton and I really enjoyed that, so I have high hopes for this one. This book actually takes place where I'm from in Washington, D.C. However, this one takes place at an elite private school in Washington, D.C., so that's a difference. I think we follow two main characters here. First one is Bryn. She's like the cool girl, the popular girl, the it girl, she's gonna be in politics one day. However, there's a rumor that happens and it basically destroys her image and seemingly to her, her whole life. Then we have the other person, Georgie. And Georgie is like the new up and coming it girl. She had this whole change, right? And now she's popular. Now she's the it girl. However, um, a rumor starts about Georgie and now everything that she has just built these past couple months or however long, it is about to be destroyed by another rumor. And then there's also one girl, her name is Cora, and she was like the original Regina George. So to take it to the synopsis, it says, as the rumors grow and morph, blazing like a wildfire through the school's social media, all three girls' lives begin to unravel. But one person close to the drama has the power to stop the gossip in its tracks. The question is, do they even want to? Mic drop. There we go. Sounds great, right? Skipping right along, we have Bean Mary Bennett. I did, in fact, reread Pride and Prejudice for the third time in 2021. So Pride and Prejudice is just in my brain and I will read whatever retelling comes up. There we go. And so this one follows Mary Bennett and poor Mary. Everyone always forgets about Mary. I'm happy someone wrote a book for Mary. She deserves it. 
All we really know is that it's a rom-com and we are like taken from the characters of Pride and Prejudice. So Mary is getting set up with someone, I don't know who, but either way, I'm very excited. I love that we're dealing with characters inspired by Pride and Prejudice and I'm happy to see if Mary ends up happy because that girl deserves some attention. Hi guys, I'm sorry if the angle changed but my camera stopped. Anyway, we're back with the next book and it is Remember Me Gone by Stacey Stokes. So this book follows Lucy Miller and Lucy is part of a long line of people who can extract memories from people's brains and like also permanently remove them. That's a thing as well. So Lucy turns 16. She's very, very excited to start learning how to take away people's memories. And then she ends up practicing on her father. When she tries to take out his memory, it's basically impossible to remove, but she sees a little fragment, a little, a little bit, and it's from the night that her mom died. And from her perspective, her dad's memory was twinged with some guilt. So now questions start popping up in Lucy's head, like what really happened to my mom? And then she further tries to investigate that. Questions come up about her whole town. So she, throughout this whole book, partners up with someone else and they're trying to figure out what the heck happened in their past, what specifically happened with Lucy's mom, and what's going on with this town because things are as normal things in books are. Sketchy! I'm really intrigued by the thought of like removing people's memories or even just taking them out. Like that just sounds super cool. I mean, <laughs> it's horrible but it sounds cool to read about. But I'm also somehow weirdly invested on like what happened in this town, in this world, and like what happened to Lucy's mom. We gotta find out. This book comes out on March 22nd. Okay, so for our last and final book, we have Survive the Dome. So this book, this one's a little frightening actually. Like the rumor one, that, that just sounds intriguing. Like, you know, close to home, but like never gonna happen to me. This one sounds terrifying. So this book takes place in Baltimore. There was a uh, instance of police brutality and then a black man ends up getting murdered by the cops. And so naturally the main character and the people who live around him in like Baltimore they start protesting and being activists and all a great thing until the police come and they form a dome around their city. Like a literal dome. The people can't escape. As the synopsis describes it, it says the dome surrounds the city, forcing those within to subscribe to a total militarized shutdown. No one can get in and no one can get out. And then it says Jamal, the main character, doesn't know where to turn until he meets hacker Marco who knows more than he lets on and AWOL, basic training graduate whose parents helped build the initial plans for the dome. As unrest inside of Baltimore grows throughout the day's long lockdown, Marco, Catherine, and Jamal take the fight directly to the chief of police, but the city is corrupt from the inside out and it's going to take everything they have to survive. Hence the title survive the dome. So this book sounds very compelling. I'm very interested to see how the other characters will play in. And although it's quite terrifying, um, it's not without the realm of possibility. So there we go. I don't know who this is by actually. I've never read a book by this author, so this should be fun and I'm very intrigued. That was a list of a random number 13 books that I'm anticipating between now because the first book came out today and March. I'm excited to do another one of these for the second quarter of the year. I'm hoping I can get to all of these. Maybe we can call this a five star prediction. Like my anticipated releases five star predictions. I don't know. Maybe I can read all of these. Hopefully I do and then react and see if they were actually five stars or not. There's an idea. Love that. I think we're gonna do that. So yeah, this video just changed its title completely. Hello, welcome to that. Yeah, I feel like all of these have potential to be five stars and I'm very interested in every single last one of them. So I can't wait. Please let me know in the comments down below what your anticipated releases are. Maybe I can add some more to my list. I don't know, I'm always open even though my TBR is exhausted. But either way, let me know below. So yeah, that's pretty much all that I have to say. Um, that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and sticking around until the end of the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified anytime I post a new video. I love you guys so, so, so much, and I hope you have a good day or night, and stay safe. Bye!